out of force of habit, some of you are going to be tempted to write an equation for this situation. You could, but don't do not do work that you don't want to do, right? So if you can just think about this like kind of commonsensically, then do that. So let's take a look at the story. A manager is responsible for ordering supplies for a shaved ice shop. The shop's inventory starts with 4,500 paper cups, and the manager estimates that 70 of these paper cups are used each day. Based on this estimate, in how many days will the supply of paper cups reach 1,700? Honestly, I would just guess and check here. I have answer choices. Let me just see what happens if I have 40 days pass, right? So 40 days times 70 is 2800, right? So, okay, let's take that away from the 4500, right? So 4500 minus 2800 is 1700. Done. That's it. Now, I didn't choose B first because I knew that was going to be the answer. I chose B first because it's in the middle and uh, I could have chosen C, I guess, but I chose B because if I was wrong, I would either have gone over and then I would have had to go back to A and check that, or I would have been under and then I would have gone to C or D and then done those. So picking a middle choice when I guess and check is my way of kind of minimizing the amount of work I need to do. Remember, once you get the answer here, once something works, you're done. It's not like you have to check every choice, but if you start in the middle, then overall, the odds are good you're going to have to check fewer choices because you'll be able to see which direction things are headed. So you could make a linear equation here. I don't think it's really necessary. I would just kind of follow the story. The key though is, right, It's it's got to be that we have 1,700 cups left. So we got to subtract away however many cups we use. That's why I didn't want to make an equation because I just, I thought I'd lose that aspect of the story if I put it into an equation. Here, it's just common sense, the everyday way we use math.